Hey guys, this is going to be a multi-part tutorial on mapping in NetRadiant Custom or Radiant or NRC. Um, so once you, well first you want to download NetRadiant Custom. So you just Google search NetRadiant Custom. It's going to be the first link you see. Um, this is your latest release right here but I am using a development build and we are going to go to this link download this is the build I'm using right here and once you have that downloaded and installed you're just going to open Radiant um, first thing you're going to want to do is go to file project settings uh, select your mod in this case I'm mapping for Quake 3 Arena modification and then your FS game is going to be your mod name. So in this case, it's going to be Defrag. Just press OK. And then you're going to go to Edit Preferences or just press P. That's your shortcut. And you just want to use these settings. These are the settings that I personally use and uh, I recommend you use them as well. They're the easiest to work with. Under game paths, your engine path is going to be where your Quake3.exe is located. Uh, if you have an extra resource path you, can, you want to use, you can also add that here. Uh, you have multi monitor support. This is your layout, so what you see here is the 2D plane, 3D window, texture browser. And you can change it to however you like. Me personally, I like to use this one, it's the easiest to use. You can change all this as you see fit. I use default settings. Now I just select an after duplication. So when you have a brush selected, you press spacebar. You'll nudge it by the amount of units, grid units you're, you're currently using. So in this case, I'm using 64 units. So if I copy a brush over, it's going to nudge it 64 units. This is a new feature on double click, do clip or split. I recommend split. Default grid spacing. So I set it to 64 by default, it's eight. So what eight looks like is this. So that's one eight unit grid compared to That 64 unit grid spacing. So I'm going to just change this back to 64. Surface inspector. Uh, render mode, I use texture wired. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, stop compilation on leak. Um, I recommend using this, especially if you're a first time mapper. Uh, if you're doing a quick test, you might want to uncheck that, knowing that you have a leak. Press OK. Delete these. And now you want to also change your theme. So NRC has a bunch of themes you can choose from. You can go to Miscellaneous, Colors, GTK Theme. I am using Human Radiant Dark. Um, you have a lot you can choose from. This looks pretty cool. But let's go back to Human Radiant Dork. So I want to show you guys something really quick. So I'm going to hit press OK. OK, never mind, it works. Um, so if you can view your shortcuts and you can edit them as well. So you just go to edit at the bottom, it's going to be shortcuts. And these are all the shortcuts that you can assign. There's a lot of them. Um, I don't know all of them by heart, 
but I'm gonna show you guys the most important ones. Um, let's see what else is there. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the basics. Um, in the next video, I'll show you guys how to make a room, some basic triggers, clips, very basic stuff. And then we'll start getting more and more detail with uh, detail brushes and structural brushes, patches, and whatnot. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one.